Hello, good day viewers. Today I want to show you how to find the partial derivative of a function using chain rule. Look at this statement. U is a function of x and y which is equal to this. And we are given x to be equal to this and y equal to this. And the question says find the derivative of u with respect to r. But u is not directly connected with r. Therefore, it, it looks somehow complicated, right? To find the partial derivative of u with respect to r, we need to figure out the relationship between these functions. We have already seen that u is a function of x and y. This is x while this is y. We can see that x and y jointly depend on r and theta respectively. So these two functions depends on, on r and theta. Likewise, uh, y depends on this, this r and it also depends on this theta. We want to find the derivative of u with respect to r. We are going to look at different channel we can take in order to reach to this particular r. You see, we can follow through x to r and we can at the same time follow through y to r. And that's what chain rule says. So therefore, partial derivative of this u with respect to, to r is equal to, now we are going to take the partial derivative of u with respect to x and multiply it with the partial derivative of x with respect to r. Then we add the other direction. And this is the same thing as partial u, um, partial x, multiplied by partial x, partial r. Then we add, because we can equally follow through this channel to r. And this is partial u, partial y, times partial y, partial r. By applying this formula, we'll be able to find the derivative of u with respect to r. This is a dependency graph. This is dependency. Dependency graph. So now let us substitute into this formula. Uh, this is equal to du over dx. So we are going to differentiate u with respect to x, keeping y as constant. If you differentiate x, you're going to obtain 2x times, then dx over dr, this is x. If you differentiate x with respect to r, you're going to obtain cos theta. This is cos theta, then plus du over dy, this function you are going to differentiate it with respect to y alone, keeping x as constant. So if you differentiate this term, you are going to obtain um, 2 because y will vanish, um, minus 2y, but all of them multiply by dy over dr, and this is y equal to this. If you differentiate this with respect to r, you are going to obtain sine, sine theta. So this equals to 2x cos theta plus, if you expand this bracket, you are going to obtain 2 times this, which is sine theta, minus 2y sine theta. And this is the partial derivative of u with respect to r. If you like, you can substitute for x and r, which is equal to this. But it is not necessary because we just want to see the relationship between these functions. And another method you can take is this. You can first of all substitute for x and y which is equal to this. You expand and differentiate u with respect to r. You are still going to get the same answer. 